Okay, what's going on guys? This is Rampage once again. This time around I'll be doing an overview of the ASRock Z77 uh, Extreme 6 motherboard, which has a 1155 uh, socket or CPU. Now, okay, I'll just show you the bottom. So it's optimized or compatible with Windows 7, uh, ATI Crossfire X, SLI, and supports uh, Intel Core chipset Z77. Okay. Now this isn't going to be an unboxing or anything, but I just have to show you something real quick. Um, remember, when you get new motherboards or you, if you're getting a uh, new PC, never use the drivers on the CD because they're always out of date. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing to note, if you get this motherboard, the SLI bridge is a solid SLI bridge. It's not a flexi one, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, um, th here's my question. Where the hell does this go? It's a, a USB 3.0 port. Uh, it's either for the front panel or the uh, back panel. But um, you can actually take the uh, connector or the header out and then put this on over them but I don't know how the hell you would actually get this to stick into there which uh, I don't know if any of you guys actually know the answer to that question please let me know alright so I'm gonna do a uh, overclocking video as well, which should go up after this video. Uh, please excuse the cable management because this was just chucked in um, when when my old motherboard was actually in my case, so I didn't have enough time to actually go through and re-cable or re-manage everything. Um, this 24-pin uh, power connector is too fat to go behind the case, so I need to get a new case, and yeah, hopefully. Uh, the case that I'm getting, or hopefully get, is better than this one. <laughs> Alright, so there's a few uh, issues with this motherboard. Well, not issues, but just hiccups that I, I don't know whether the manufacturer actually realizes this or whether this was just on my board specifically. But when I booted up my system, right, um, with my graphics card plugged in, so here's my graphics card. Yes, it's a reference. Uh, so my graphics card was in, yeah, and I plugged in the DVI connector, which is here, plugged it in, plugged it into my monitor, and nothing happened. And this little dial gave me an A2 reading. Now I'll show you what an A2 reading is, hold on. Okay, guys, now I don't know whether you can see this, I'll try and make it easier for you. Um... Alright, I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Oop. Okay, so the fourth one there is the A2 reading. So it's right here, A2 IDE detect. And that was the uh, message that the motherboard gave me every time I started to turn on the system with uh, my graphics card plugged in. So I took that out and then uh, found out that for some reason, if... I plug the SATA connectors, so I've got three, so there's one, two, so there's two here, one here, right? If I plug them into here, so both two were plugged into these SATA connectors, and then one was in here, the system still wouldn't boot. So I thought, what the hell? And I just thought for giggles, I would move them up to SATA port one, two, and three. And... Uh, still having my graphics card removed. So, that actually worked somehow. Um, but before that actually worked, I had to figure out why the memory wasn't working. So, it, it gave me another uh, code, I think it was H2 or something, that said memory insufficient or something like that, because I had it in uh, A1 and B B1. So I would have thought that it would be A B, A yeah A one B one, A two B two, 
But no, it's A1 and A2. So that kind of uh, screwed me around a little bit, but after all this, I did end up fixing it. Um, and I'll show you what happens uh, when you boot it on stock BIOS settings. Okay guys, now I'm back on my computer. Um, I think I need to switch it on at the back. I do. Uh. Okay, so you can see the numbers. Um, so I've got an A2 reading now. A3. There we go. I think that just like go th uh, through posts and whatnot. But anyway, alright, so I'm just going to go back to my computer real quick, hold on. Okay. Now, you can see after I uh, had my computer unplugged, it came up with a disk read error. So, yeah, it should be nothing to worry about. Um. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Alright, so when it boots into Windows... If it boots into Windows. Okay. Um, welcome back, guys. Uh, I don't know what the hell was going on, but my Windows decided to die. So, <laughs> it, it's all good now. But, um, <laughs> didn't really uh, make this overview video any more uh, awesome. But, um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little overview video about the uh, ASRock Z77 uh, Extreme 6 motherboard. So yeah, again, my name is Rampage. I hope you have enjoyed. Peace out.